Hey everybody, this is Steven with the Simple Tech Live TSTL, and I'm here to bring you a quick demonstration of LastPass. Enjoy. Hey everybody, this is Steven with the Simple Tech Life, and I'm here to give you a quick demonstration of how to use LastPass. So if you recall in the last video, I showed um, LastPass application and talked about the benefits of using a password manager. Now I'd like to give you a, a couple quick demonstrations as to how I use it uh, every day in my life. So if you pull up a website here like Amazon.com, um, again, you'll notice uh, every time you go to a website that requires any kind of login, you know you're going to be greeted with a login screen. Um, typically, in the past, before having a password manager, I'd put in uh, my email address, and then uh, typically I would have had a password that would have been the same across multiple login sites, which is uh, uh, terrible from a, a security perspective. So with LastPass, I simply go over here, uh, select the LastPass application, which I already explained how to install, and then I'll go ahead and type in my password. And once I'm logged into LastPass, you'll see uh, the application gives you a couple of op options. You can go to your um, your LastPass vault, which will give you a list of all of your um, logins. Uh, I'll pull it up here. Uh, most of this stuff is going to be grayed out, so you can't see all the information I've got in here. But um, you can see some examples here of uh, all the different applications and that I've got in in my LastPass vault. <clears throat> so if you'll notice, that opens up a web uh, window here. Now you don't need your vault open all the time, um, so I'm going to close that for now. But let's say I want to log into uh, my Amazon.com account. So I simply come over to Amazon. I click sign in. If you'll notice now, this time, now that I'm logged into LastPass, when I come over to my Amazon account, it automatically pre-populates my email address and it pre-populates my password. So all I've got to do here at this website is click uh, sign in. And there you go. I'm all signed into uh, my Amazon.com account. Uh, so... Uh, that's a quick example there. On Google, uh, you'll see it's the same situation. If I want to sign into Google, I'll click Sign In. Uh, now, there will be on occasion a website you'll come to uh, where it won't pre-populate uh, the email and password. But all you got to do is just right-click on uh, your email name. Let's do that again. Right-click on it, and you'll notice this little LastPass um, down here. So you just come over here to Autofill. Select which uh, I've got multiple Google accounts, so I'll select which one that I want to use, and voila, it uh, populates the uh, username or email and the password. I click sign in, and I'm now signed into Google, and I can go to Google Document or whatnot. So <clears throat> very simple to use. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of other ways you can use it. Let's go back to my um, LastPass Vault. If I want to open up, uh, let's say I don't want to type in the uh, URL for a website. I would rather just come to my vault and pick a particular um, service. Let's go to Netflix. If I click on the Netflix icon, so let's go over here to member sign in. You'll notice here when it comes to member sign in, it asks me if I want to autofill these fields. I will click autofill and it populates them for me. And then I click continue. And there you go. It'll sign me into Netflix. So, uh, again, as you can see, a lot of versatility here. You can use LastPass from your, from your vault. But let's say I'm on a computer uh, that's not my own personal computer. So I don't have the LastPass icon um, here in the, in the browser. What am I going to do then when I'm on a computer that uh, doesn't have LastPass installed in, in the browser? Well, um, you can go to the LastPass website. We'll do that here real quick. First, let's sign out with Google. So if I come here to LastPass, okay, now there's this, notice there's this sign into LastPass right here. So I click on that. It brings up my access to my vault. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And there you go. From any computer that's on the internet, you can access your vault and do the same thing that you would do in your vault on the browser, which is you can click on a LastPass application 
and sign in to a service like Netflix again. And there it goes. It just automatically logs me in. So very cool, very, um, very capable. Uh, as I said before, LastPass is something I use literally every single day. And uh, it has really made my life on the Internet so much easier. I no longer have to remember all the websites uh, and URLs. I, it, it's almost like a bookmark here feature because it remembers these, uh, which actually brings me to an introduction of my next video. Um, I'm also going to talk next about a tool that will keep track of all your bookmarks across different computers. So let's say I use you know five different computers. I've got my uh, iMac um, here at home. I've got a, a, uh, my laptop. Let's say um, I'm at work. And I want to use um, some of the uh, some of the bookmarks from my home browser experience. You know, how do you, um, sh if you will, share bookmarks across different computers? So I'm going to talk about an application uh, that I have installed that allows me to share bookmarks across uh, computers, um, no matter where I'm at. <clears throat> Again, a really cool feature, and surprisingly, it's uh, or not surprisingly, it's uh, by the same company that did the LastPass application. So they. Um, they recently purchased a company that uh, does this bookmarking feature across, uh, across devices. So very cool stuff. I'll share that in my next video. So if you have any questions, um, pose them below and please subscribe to my channel and give me feedback on whether you think this is uh, good information and if there's anything else you'd like to know or share. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.